Hi, this is Mariana from Fabric. In this video we will create this dashboard uh, from scratch. Uh, this is one of the examples that we provide. Uh, you can create it uh, from the template clicking on new, going to load examples and selecting this dashboard example sales. This is exactly the one I'm seeing here. Now I will create it uh, manually so you can see how to create a dashboard like this yourself. So first uh, I will create new on the left panel and I will call it the dashboard my sales dashboard. I need to select the extensions I want to use. In this case, uh, the ones we are going to use is the one called widgets and widgets e-charts. And we'll click create. This will load a, an empty dashboard. Now I will go to design. For this case, we will use a a sample data source so I will click and drag a uh, source which is the green cloud I will right click on it and click the yellow icon for settings and select a sample event source I will click OK this is the default settings we will leave everything as is and click OK let's call this uh, sales by double clicking on the label and writing sales and, and hitting enter you can see it's already generating events. This green circle over here, it's incrementing the number. It means uh, every time it increments a new event happens. If I click on it, I can see the actual content of the events and it updates as new events come in. Uh, an event here is displayed in this format. Uh, on the left, we have the name of the field, uh, the channel where it comes from, the ID of the event, some metadata, when it happened, uh, you're here you can see a human representation of, of a timestamp, the username that generated the, the event, and on the value field is the most important part uh, for, for users, which is the event content, the, the actual data of the event. Here we can see that this uh, sample event source is generating uh, many fields. One is called amount, which is a number. Uh, that's a random number between uh, 0 and 100. Then there's a uh, a uh, city field which is what we call an object which is uh, a field that has subfields with names uh, in this case it has a latitude a longitude and a value uh, we have a continent field which is text uh, in this case is the continent country code of the country then the country code long uh, the country language which is uh, mostly undefined the country name uh, the name of uh, that we configured on the sample event source. In this case, it's, it's for one of four values, uh, which represent categories uh, for the sales. A random value, which is the same as amount, and a value that goes from zero to 100, and then to from 100 to zero, uh, when it's configured by default. So let's, uh, let's create a dashboard. Uh, let's say we first want uh, to display um, the pie chart. So let's uh, drag and drop a, a widget or a data view, which is this yellow one, and then right click on it and select the yellow icon for settings. Uh, we want to create a pie chart, as we said, so we sec select each chart's pie. Uh, we click OK. We leave uh, the settings uh, by default, so we click OK again. Uh, let's rename it to pie, so we know when we have more than one uh, which one it was. And now we need to map the input event to a pie chart. So what we are going to do is to drag and drop a transformer uh, or adapter and right click on it and go to settings. But first let's connect it so we get the events. Uh, I, I right click on the source. I select the connect icon, the green icon. And then later I click on the transformer. Here it's already connected. So I will. if you click on any other place, the, the connection will disappear. I will do it again from the transformer to the widget. You can see that the, when, when we drag and drop uh, an element, it's uh, translucent. It means it's not configured. And here it, uh, you can see that it's receiving events because there's a green bubble on the left. But uh, there's no green bubble on the right because it's not configured yet. Uh, so I will click uh, right click on the transformer and select the settings icon. It will load this visual language. On the left, we have a panel where we can select um, different categories to use different blocks that do different tasks. Uh, the usual one is uh, to expand the node templates data view and select uh, a template 
in this case for uh, eCharts basic all the the widgets from the eCharts extension have the same settings so expand eCharts uh, basic and required what we want to do is to set the value to the amount we can click here and show input and we can see the input again so we don't have to go outside of the this the page to to see the inputs we want to do a pie chart where the the pie chart increases by amount and uh, each slice is uh, a category so the label will be name and we will remove this one we can either drag and drop it to to this uh, trash bin on the bottom right or we can select it and hit uh, delete on the keyword so we can see the output preview how it looks uh, we can see that we added two two new fields the label field to the output which is the the same as the name in here and the val field which is the number which is the same as value amount uh, to go inside an object to get a field inside an object you write the field dot and the subfield so if we want to get access to amount you do value dot amount so this looks okay so i will click okay and now it will start generating out of output events and we can see if we close uh, the designer that we already have a pie chart um, with the with the slices we can uh, disable uh, slices by clicking on them here and if we hover we get uh, the number we can make it bigger by dragging them uh, the bottom right and we can move it from the title bar if we double click on the left part of the title bar we can say we can set a title let's say sales by category let's now do the bar chart so we drag and drop a new data view or widget as we call it it will be a bar chart so let's title it bar right click on it click on settings and select bar here in this case in this case we will display sales by category by continent so here uh, we can either select stack or not we will see how it changes when we configure it uh, we are going to drag a transformer here since we are going to be connecting many transformers to the source we want to we may want to use the hub so we click on the connection and click the cut uh, icon so we cut the connection already uh, we drag and drop the hub which is uh, an element that will receive events on the left and send it to all the outputs on the right so we can send the same event to many places without having to connect it one to one and now I will connect the adapter to the widget and now I will configure it so we go again to no templates, data view, basic, required in this case we want to set the value to amount again uh, the name of the category but we want to use the continent so let's do value.continent here and now we have a widget with a bar chart where uh, it's grouped by category and then each bar is the continent for that category uh, we can do two things uh, the first one is go to settings again for the data view and select stack which will make the the bar chart uh, much uh, simpler or smaller so it fits in smaller screens uh, and the second one is if we want to put the continents at the bottom and make the these sections the categories we can do it by just reversing these two here clicking ok but now of course we will get everything messed up so we right click on the widget and select clear and now we will start from from the beginning let's do the the map so i drag and drop another data view and select the time map and i click ok here we can configure the colors and some configuration i will just uh, leave it this uh, as it is and we will do as usual we will drag and drop an adapter this in this case we will connect it from the hub and to the data view and right click on settings on the adapter again we want to uh, 
change the color of the country according to the amount um, the label will be the country the country name so that we paint the, the that country and the series in this case uh, I will recommend you to set it to an empty uh, string for because it's useful if you have a uh, sales for different months or for different years uh, in this case I will set it just to the text 200 uh, 2016 you will see why you can see here if, if we had sales from different years we could switch between the different years over here but in this case I am generating the data so I will just set it to the fixed value of the current year and you can see that the countries uh, are painted in different colors and you can see already that uh, we are moving um, our, uh, our widgets and we have to arrange them manually uh, one thing that it may happen if one widget is on top of the other and you want to move the one at the bottom you can right click on the one that's at the top and set it click send to back and now you can access the one at the bottom to move it but uh, yeah uh, manually arranging the, the widgets is a little bit uh, hard so we provide uh, layouts so for example we can select this one and move the map over here and it looks much better without a lot of work and later if you want you can rearrange them manually after you use the layouts let's do the last one uh, I think uh, it's uh, the new sticker so I will drag and drop another data view click settings and go to and select new sticker click OK leave everything by default uh, let's rename this to map and this one to new sticker uh, if you forget to name the data views and you forgot which one here is which on the dashboard you can right click and, and click the eye and it will highlight uh, for some seconds in red the, the widget so we can see which one is which one so uh, like before let's connect it and in this case the new sticker has its own section it has only one required field if we leave it like this we can see what happens uh, let's use layouts again let's pick this one you can see that uh, it's displaying the name of the category and the date when it happened uh, the val field on the new sticker is uh, has to be text so if we want to put more content here we can use this create text width uh, element and we can put different uh, parts of the text we want to give it so we can for example put the continent the country name then we can put a space then we can put the name of the category then uh, colon space and a dollar sign then we can put the amount and this should already display the country category and the price of the last sale for for each sale but we may want to do something extra for example we may want to use some formatting if we expand text and then formatting we want the country name to be bold and we may want to paint uh, different sales numbers in different backgrounds so we can go to block templates set color by threshold and we can drag this we can change here the amount field if the amount is less than 30 it's a low sale so we want to paint it red with text uh, set to white so we get better contrast if it's low, uh, lower than 60 then yellow otherwise green so we now have um, the colors and finally we have flags on the on the original example this is done uh, we have support for images uh, on the new sticker so we will put a space here in text and formatting you can say that it says image from we will select this if the image is not found you can select the text in this case let's make the empty text if it, the image is not found but here we want to put the the flag of the country uh, 
here you you would have to build the the address of the image for the country for this particular case we provide a utility function uh, so you don't have to build it yourself which is called country code to flag url so here if we provide a country code it will return the address of an image for the flag and we can see that the flag is already being displayed we can set view mode right now and we have the fi final dashboard if i right click uh, on for example the new sticker i have an extra option called filter so i can filter if i want to see only the food um, updates uh, it will filter them and whenever a new update comes uh, it will also display the update or if i only want to see the update from italy for example it will only display the updates from italy or everything with the price of 99 for example so you can live filter here there, there are other, other things you can do but this is a good overview of uh, how to build a dashboard yourself uh, using the sales dashboard if you want to load it uh, from the template as i said click new load examples and sales you can also pick another example and try to build it yourself or change it and if you make a mistake you can remove it and load it again so this was uh, an overview how to create the sales dashboard from scratch um, if you have any question just comment on the youtube section or contact us on twitter or facebook or via email bye